What is going on, Faithfuls? This is the Nothing But Niners brand new segment here. This is going to be our briefing mode, okay? So we want you guys to understand what's happening here. This is going to be something new that you're going to get from us a lot. Short videos that are briefing on the latest news and updates about the 49ers, okay? These will not be live. It will be randomly posted throughout the week. Just make sure you have your notification set, okay? So this episode is the briefing, the 49ers briefing, week five, midweek practice report, all right? So we're just going to jump right into this here. I'm joined by Tony tonight. Tony, you ready to do this, man? Yes, sir. Trying to break something new out there for you guys. All right. So we're going to start with the injuries, okay? Uh, mm -hmm. Kyle Shanahan held his pressure today, and the two names that he listed that have not yet happened were uh, Ziggy Ansa, defensive lineman Ziggy Ansa, and nickel corner K1 Williams going to the IR this week. Yeah, uh, That means that there's going to be two more roster spots available, and uh, we'll touch on how that can happen or what they can do with that a little bit later. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So he also mentioned about who was out of practice today. Um, you had Dante Johnson with the groin. Um, Mosley still in the concussion protocol. And Jimmy Ward with a, a wrist injury that just popped up. I don't remember anything in the game. He, you know, grabbing his arm, walking off the, to the sideline or being subbed out. I don't remember anything about it, but he is on the injury report and he did miss today's practice. Yeah, he did. Uh, Shanahan did say that it wasn't uh, a big deal at first. Uh, it was more precaution. It's more precautionary than anything, but they were a little concerned that it didn't get better uh, and that it got worse. So that is something that we'll touch on uh, later on in later shows. All right. Uh, but also to wrap up the uh, practice report so far, the limited report was uh, quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo back at practice in a limited fashion, uh, also returning to practice, making his uh, week five practice debut. Running back Raheem Mostert is back in the mix, someone who has been missed by this team, but also limited. Um, and then two other people, uh, wide receiver Dante Pettis, which is weird, no snaps. How is he limited? What happened? But, you know, maybe we'll find out more information later. And then Akello Witherspoon, the hammy is healing, and he is getting back in the mix. Uh, that is it for the people who were listed on the uh, practice report. Did anything stand out to you about that? No, I mean, the only thing, Sherm, the Sherman update. That's what, you yeah. know, I know someone might ask something about anything about Sherman, but if they IR'd him, he has to do, I believe, three full weeks before he can return. So I guess that would make it the Rams game next week. Um, you still aren't hearing anything about Sherman. No updates, no nothing. It's very quiet. It's very just like on the DL type stuff. And, you know, I just find that a little weird. Well, Sherman's injury – I believe this is the third week that he would be el uh, eligible to return, but we'll see what happens here. Um, but the reason I think Shanahan didn't list him is because he's already on IR. This isn't yeah. an update. This is something that's continuing yeah. from where it was. Fans and we're just expecting Sherman uh, mm -hmm. to come back. So go ahead. You got the next one, buddy. Um, so Kyle mentioned that he knows who the backup is going to be if Jimmy starts. Um, and he's only dressing two people. So, He's not going three. He's only doing two if Jimmy's up. So it's going to be either Jimmy with CJ or Jimmy with Nick. Or if Jimmy's not going to play, it's going to be the both of them, obviously. And nothing has been said, like, you know, who's in the lead for the second or, God forbid, Jimmy can't play, who's going to start. So I just found that really interesting as well. Yeah, I think what was really cool about that was how he just would not tell the press who the backup was going to be or the starter. He knows yeah. who is the favorite. He just wouldn't say. Uh, and he left it at, you guys are going to have to see. Uh, everyone's getting reps because if Jimmy can't go on Sunday, then we're going to have to have both of the other guys up. But if Jimmy can go, you guys will know what my choice is by who is not active. So that was that was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, we're going. Uh, they talked about, you know, bringing in other people here. And Shanahan had a little interesting tidbit here about the COVID rules. Um, right. He said it's really hard to bring someone in in a timely manner. Apparently, it takes six days. Yep. To they bring someone it. else in, they jumped outside. it because of they jumped it because of what's going on. So, yeah, with, with um, the, yeah. So now for you, I I think they're working people. Well, I think they're reaching out to people and starting the the COVID process this week to potentially get them on for next week. So like I know they added Barrett to the the fifty three mm -hmm. to replace I guess Ansa. You know they're adding. They're definitely going to add somebody by next week versus the Rams, whether I don't know who it is because everything's tight lipped. But right. now it's got to be six tests. So <laughs> six days, I'm sorry. So right. you know that's a whole almost a whole week. They got to start the ball rolling now for next week. 
So yeah, yeah so it really puts a hamper on these teams, especially teams that are in dire need for injuries uh, to replace injured players. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and something else Shanahan said in the mix of all that, and like again, we'll talk about all this later on, guys. Uh, but he said, guys who aren't currently on the team, we know that guys who aren't currently on this roster anywhere will be playing for us later on. He's anticipating injuries, and that tells us he's anticipating free agent signings. So yeah. this is something big, or not necessarily free agents, but even somebody off of another team's practice squad. So this is big. He dropped a little hint there. We'll touch on that later on. The next one's for you, though, Tony. Uh, you can take it away whenever you are ready. So Kyle mentioned that um, Debo Samuel look, looked great in practice. He's 100%. Um, he was. They, they did try to work him in. He was on the snap count. I think um, between 20 and 30 snaps he finished with. So – I think he actually finished with 25, if I'm correct. But yep. it, it's interesting. And, you know, the reports are positive. He looks good. He's 100%. He's running running all over the field. He's breaking. He's cutting. He's breaking on routes. The foot's holding up. Thank God. Um, yeah, yeah. So it's really going to be interesting. Now, the next question is going to be is, like, who's going to be throwing the ball? Right. So right. now is this going to delay him more because now he's got to get rapport with – if Jimmy comes back, he hasn't played with Jimmy because Jimmy's been hurt. Nick Mullins played a doozy. CJ Beathard came in. I don't know if he got, caught any passes from CJ. So it's going to be interesting. It will. And it's something that we're going to keep our eyes on here. And the good news is we can do another one of these briefings after Friday's practice if they mm-hmm. do one on Friday. So we'll we'll, uh, we'll be, able to be able to update everybody. Uh, one more thing from the Samuel front, right, that I thought was pretty cool. Um, when Kyle was talking, he said that Wes Welker – he, 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 they said, uh, you know, we wanted to keep it between a certain number of uh, of snaps, and Welker kept him exactly in the middle. He didn't say I kept him. He said Welker kept him, meaning Wes Welker is telling which receivers to run out there and which ones not to on any given play. So we've heard about how Shanahan just calls up the play, and Jeff Wilson's uh, famous touchdown against the Cardinals to end the game last year, or last year right? That was a play that was designed and practiced by someone else all week long. Mm -hmm. However, the running back that it was intended for happened to be on the sideline during that play. Shanahan still called the same play, and the glory went to to Jeff Wilson Jr. Much like this past week, even though we lost against the Eagles, uh, they said that they called a play called Shark because it's normally a blitz that Kwan Williams does. But Jamar Taylor came in. Mm -hmm. He recorded the sack. That tells us that Shanahan really doesn't really – keep an eye on this guy's hurt, this guy's not hurt, throughout the game. It's more about whatever the position coaches say, which packages or what players to go out there run in for somebody because anybody could be tapping their helmet at any given yeah. time. So that was pretty cool. Well, I, I think it, it could be something to the fact of Kyle's in charge of the play call, obviously. I think he puts the pressure on the positional coaches to know, the pers- know their personnel to fit that play. Mm-hmm. So that's why like, it's the same thing with Bobby Turner. Bobby Turner calls the shots with the running back rotation. Wes Wilk okay. is calling the shots with the wide receivers. Um, I can never remember the assistant head coach's name, the tight end coach. Embry? Embry. John Embry does the tight end rotation. So you're starting to see like how he really just puts his faith in his position coaches. Yeah. Very interesting. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And our last nugget for tonight, guys, is going to be this one. Um, Shanahan was, even though he wasn't, he didn't have to discuss Richard Sherman, he was asked about him as a last question on um, on the uh, presser, and he said that he hopes Richard Sherman is back to practice next week. Um, there's no guarantee. He said that the three weeks was a hopeful thing. We're not quite there yet. Uh, there have been other reports that are coming out slowly. They're leaking, and uh, you've heard some other conspiracy theories from people on this show. We won't get into all that right now, but Richard Sherman is not back practicing this week with the 49ers, and Kyle Shanahan is hoping that Sherman can make his debut or his second appearance uh, against the Rams. We're going to keep our eyes on that also. Yep. Something else to uh, update everybody on. It's it's getting, it's getting close, man. Look at this. You got Mosley out, and you have um, K1 Williams out. Mm-hmm. You have other guy, other corners limited with a Kella Witherspoon. Mm-hmm. Who was out there taking these snaps at practice? If Richard Sherman's still not back yet, so these guys are working the secondary. Everybody who's ever signed for this secondary is probably going to get some snaps, and maybe it's time to see some guys that this team picked up in late rounds or free agents in previous years get some of these reps. 
Well, interesting point is uh, they activated Tim Harris off of the practice squad injured reserve, and he's now active on the practice squad. So yes, if they sir. need to pull somebody, it could be Tim Harris, which I'd be very excited about because I really want to see what he has. This is the guy that you were high on and you made mm -hmm. it known during the preseason. Well, what mm -hmm. would have been the preseason. Well, yeah. <laughs> you were very excited to see this young man get out there and play, and he ended up getting that injury. So this is big news. He's got the physique and everything that they like to see. So uh, that's going to do it, though, guys. We hope you enjoyed this briefing episode. This is only a briefing, not a debate, not anything like that. We don't go into details, and we will bring you guys more shows like this throughout the season. So make sure you guys are locked in, subscribed, and your notifications are turned on. That's going to do it for us here tonight. Prepare for glory. Anticipate pain. But always remain faithful. Yeah.